Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. This is a hard cataract. Let us observe this surgery. The side port has been made first in this case by the keratome itself. Width of this side port is about 1.9 millimeter. And now, this is the main incision. Here, the keratome goes full and this is a 2.8 millimeter incision. An air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber and then tripan blue dye goes into the anterior chamber. The dye is spread uniformly all around to get uniform staining of the anterior capsule. Because of local anesthesia, because of peribulbar block with Jylocaine, the eyeball has tilted to the right side. Sometimes it happens. This is because some of the muscles are paralyzed more than the other muscles. And now the antechamber has been filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now I am going to do capsulorexis. A uh, uterita forceps is taken. A capsular tag is raised. And now I go around. Now to get the eyeball straight, I have to use a tooth forceps, a fixation forceps. Now I can see better and I can do a nice rexis. However, this rexis is becoming small. So here, I go little peripherally, deliberately and make the rexis little bigger. Hydrodissection is done. And now, as I do hydrodissection, some loose cortex come out. So, in this case, I am going to use a Simco cannula first to remove these cortex so that I can see clearly. A Simco cannula is being used to aspirate the loose cortex. Yes, now visibility is good. Some more visco is injected into the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the tip of the phaco needle. In hard cataracts, in this case it is about grade 4 nuclear sclerosis, the exposed part of the phaco needle is little more. The phaco needle could, more, could not be introduced with its bevel up, so I go bevel down and here with bevel down itself I make a tunnel in the nucleus just in front of the main incision. And now I go through the tunnel, through the substance of the nucleus and go towards the opposite equator. When I go like this, the nucleus cracks and the nucleus has been cracked nicely and now I rotate the nucleus 180 degree, sculpt go to a deeper plane and separate the two heminuclei completely. Now again I go through the substance of this heminucleus and chop it. When you go through the substance, the chopping is easy and I have coined a name for this submarine chop. And now here it goes. Each large nuclear fragment is subdivided into smaller pieces and then 
the nucleus is the pieces are emulsified. In this case the ultrasonic energy being used is 85 percent in continuous linear mode. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. The machine being used is Oatly Caterix 3. No financial interest, but this is a nice machine for direct job. For sculpting machines with torsional ultrasound is better. But for direct job, this machine is very good. And while emulsifying the last piece, I reduce the vacuum to 300, flow rate to 30, and then slowly emulsify this piece. At this time, we have to keep an eye on the posterior capsule. If it is moving forward and backward, we have to be very cautious. We can use the IOL scaffold technique in those cases. And now, there are some bits and pieces of nucleus in the anterior chamber. We have to remove these very carefully. If one of the nuclear piece remains, it settles at 6 o'clock and the overlying corneal endothelium is decompensated and there is localized corneal edema inferiorly. And we do not have any option in those cases. In those cases, we have to remove the nuclear piece. I am removing the cortex by a Simcoe cannula. See how beautifully you can remove the cortex by a Simcoe cannula. You cannot use bimanual IA because there is only one side port. And through the side port, which is about 1.9 millimeter in size, you can go in and remove the sub incisional cortex. In this case, the posterior capsule is very clean. There are no cells sticking to the posterior capsule. And now, the main wound is being enlarged little bit because I am using a white bore cartridge. And this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal hydrophobic intraocular lens. The lens has gone in the capsular bag. The lens is unfolding slowly. Yes, the lens is nicely centered. Few drops of moxifloxacin injected into the anterior chamber. The side port is nicely closed by hydrating corneal stroma on other side. The main wound was also hydrated in this case. Usually this is not necessary, but there is some stress at the wound. So I did this in this case. And this is the final lavage. The antechamber is formed nicely. And now the integrity of the wounds are checked by a cotton taped Johnson bard and then few drops of moxifloxacin is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon. Be a master of submarine job. This is a very nice technique for hard cataracts like grade 3, grade 4 
grid 5, even grid 6.